Hello, I'm Susanna Rosco, President and CEO of Telemon TRC. This overview will give you information about our history, mission, vision, and other branding. To give you some background on our history, our organization began in 1965 as the Migrant Project under the North Carolina Council of Churches. This started with a $270,000 grant to provide health and nutrition education to farm workers in migrant camps in four counties in North Carolina. We eventually added childcare, economic assistance, technical assistance, and sanitation projects. In the early 1970s, there was a concern about religious groups getting federal funds or the need for church and state separation. So in 1972, the Migrant Project was spun off and the Migrant and Seasonal Farm Worker Association, or MSFA, a private nonprofit organization was formed based in North Raleigh, North Carolina. It was 1974 when we took on a farm worker employment and training program in Virginia, when we first became a multi-state operation. We continued to add states and programming through 2004, and we now operate in 11 states. In 1980, when the Reagan administration began making significant cuts to federal program funding, MSFA lost almost half of its funding overnight. The board decided that while they had good staff and systems, that and the staff knew the communities well, and they could apply those strengths to any population, the name of the organization was holding them back. So they held a naming contest and in 1984 changed the name to Telemon Corporation. A Telemon is an architectural term for a column carved in the shape of a human figure providing support, which is the core of what we do. One problem was that when we registered in Indiana, the name was misspelled. They didn't realize that in Indiana, there was a company that already held that name. Once we were notified, the decision to use the second runner-up in the naming contest was made. Transition Resources Corporation, or as we now call it, TRC. That's why you'll see the dual branding of Telemon TRC on most company-wide information. So while we have come a long way since 1965, the basic purpose under which the organization was formed to render aid and assistance to those in need, including migrant and seasonal farm workers, hasn't changed. Along the way, the wording of our mission statement has changed, but the basic premise of it is not. In 2023, we revised the mission statement and branding, so I'm gonna walk through that now. We believe that poverty, like wealth, passes from generation to generation. Through the services we provide, we hope to break the cycle of generational poverty and provide families with the foundational skills they need to build a brighter future. Based on that premise, our mission is to disrupt the cycle of poverty by empowering families to overcome barriers to success. We want each of you to be disruptors of poverty. The way we propose to disrupt the cycle of poverty is by providing comprehensive services. One key is that we should not be doing for families. We won't be there once they leave our services. So, so we should be coaching and working to build their skills so they can do for themselves. And we need to have strong community partnerships to fill those services we cannot provide directly. Ultimately, it's through those individuals and community partnerships that we want to inspire families to achieve educational success, career skills that lead to a career pathway, and financial management skills that can help them to achieve safe, affordable housing. So all of our programming should address these areas for enrolled families. We have a mission map graphic to illustrate this. The mission map should be read from the bottom up and left to right. Starting from the bottom up, most customers enter one or more of our services by first learning about us and a specific resource. So that may happen through outreach or when they attend a workshop and decide to enroll in a program. In that program, they'll begin to learn and apply new skills as they transition out of the program, they'll practice those skills in real life. The Achieve Row is really about long-term success. We may not see that long-term success until the family has been out of our services for some time but we help them to gain the foundational skills they need in order to achieve that long-term success. When looking at the map from left to right, you can think of it like the Maslow hierarchy of need. 
We need to help families address basic well-being, health, mental health, sobriety, social and professional support networks before they can sustain school or career success. So we need to be assessing health and social needs, then not just checking the boxes, but really helping them connect with community resources to address those needs. The career path column may include what teachers are doing in our preschool programs with STEAM or STEM education and getting children ready for kindergarten. We know children who are in Head Start have a better chance of graduating high school and moving to college. Or you may be working with older youth or adults who need to gain adult basic education, college or career courses that will lead them to a career pathway. We wanna make sure we're not just getting someone a job, but we're helping them to see a long-term career pathway and they leave us knowing how to move forward on that path. So we can help someone get a job, but if they don't know what to do with their paycheck, they're gonna remain in that cycle of poverty. Each of our programs should provide a solid foundation of financial literacy so families understand how to budget, reduce debt, and build assets and income. That's how we're gonna break the cycle of poverty, and that's how families begin to build a legacy for future generations. We need to ensure families have access to resources in their community for affordable housing. And as they build their skills, they can begin to have more housing choices. This is not intended to imply that all families should purchase a home. That may not be the right choice for everyone, but we do want families to be able to afford safe, affordable housing in the neighborhood of their choosing. Finally, as families stabilize and learn how to access resources in their community, they can begin to give back whether that's simply being part of their neighborhood or volunteering in their community, engaging in voting and other civic duties, we want families to be engaged members of their community to the extent they're able. So when you hear us talking about looking at families holistically and providing comprehensive services, think of this map and how families need support in all of these areas in order to disrupt the cycle of poverty. Our vision ultimately is a future where families thrive and create a legacy of success and well being. And it's worth noting that it's up to the family to define what success and well being means and looks like to them. But we want families to think of future generations and how they can provide that future generation with a better foundation to be successful. I want to say that some of you may say, well, I only serve individuals in my program, not families. And I would say to that, that every individual is part of a family. That may be a family of choice rather than blood relation, but everyone's connected to others. Those families impact the individuals you're working with. So you can't discount the support or negative influence those families have when you're developing plans with the person you're directly working with. On our branding, you'll also see our tagline, empowering families, transforming communities. This is something that can fit in a business card or other promotional items that captures what we do. In 2023, when we refreshed our branding, we also developed a brand promise. This is the experience your customers and community can expect to receive every time they interact with Telemon TRC. Because the delivery of this promise is something that depends on each of you and how you interact, we want to make sure that you can embrace and deliver this promise. While I normally don't like to read the slides, this is important enough, I'm going to do so. Telemon TRC is committed to embracing diversity and nurturing an inclusive and collaborative culture. Our promise is to be a catalyst for change, partnering with community resources and building on the strengths of the individuals and families we serve to create lasting, transformative change. We value and are committed to communicating with respect and transparency and following through with our commitments. We value those who participate in our programs and strive to demonstrate outstanding work through the services we provide. I hope that each of you can help us deliver on this promise to our communities and customers. Finally, when you talk about services, there are three areas of core strengths that help to differentiate us. The first are integrated services. We may not fully be there yet, but we're moving towards integration of all areas of focus 
and providing comprehensive services, either directly or through community partners. We know that circumstances leading to poverty have to be addressed holistically to lay the foundation for success in the future. Think of the mission map and how we want to build a strong foundation for families as they move through our services. We are collaborative. We are partners with families to help coach them to succeed. We cannot do for them and expect them to be successful when they exit our services. Families are the experts regarding their own needs. We wanna motivate and inspire them to see a brighter future for themselves and their future generations. We never wanna duplicate what's already available in the community. Resources are much too scarce. We wanna be a good community partner and work towards win-win relationships that will best serve our customers. And we wanna be open to receiving feedback and suggestions from customers, community members, employees, and funders, because that diverse approach will only make us stronger and help us to implement continuous improvement in our services. Our third core strength is being evidence-based. We have a long-standing proven track record of success beginning in 1965. We believe that focusing on delivery of, of high quality services will improve the impact we have on families and the community. We also believe that data is foundational to identifying and addressing needs in each community and informing improvement opportunities. We're invested in fostering a culture that encourages data-driven decision-making at all levels of the organization and are implementing strategic priorities in this area. I hope this gives you some foundational information about Telemon TRC, who we are and how we expect to deliver services. I hope you can embrace our approach and help us deliver on our mission to transform communities. Thank you for taking time to learn about our mission, vision, and approach to services. If you have any questions or would like to provide feedback, feel free to reach out to me or email communications at telemon.org.